Okay, so here's a fun integral. This is the integral of secant cubed x dx. Okay, so this is a good one. So, uh, okay, so where do you start? Well, with secant cubed, if you're just looking at this, you probably would never guess to do this, but what we need to do is we're going to write this as the integral of secant squared times secant. So we're going to break up the cube into a secant squared and a secant. And now we have a product of two functions. So you should try integration by parts. Okay. So you're going to let u equal something and dv equal something. And now what do you use for u and what do you use for dv? Well, whatever you let dv equal, you're going to have to find the antiderivative to get to v, right? So whatever you let dv equal, you want it to be easy to integrate. So, secant squared, is that easy to integrate? Or is secant easier to integrate? Well, looking at it, you might say secant because it's just secant. But actually, it turns out secant squared is easier, and here's why. So secant squared x dx. When I want to go and find v, you have to integrate this, right? You need to find the antiderivative. So you can ask yourself the derivative of what function is secant squared. And after a little bit of thinking, you should be able to come up with tangent. The derivative of tangent is secant squared, okay? So that means that was a good choice for dv. u is then equal to secant, and du is equal to secant tangent. Alright, so we throw it all into the formula uv minus vu, so go ahead and write that as always. So that's our integration by parts formula. uv, so u is secant x, v is equal to tangent, so I have secant tangent, minus integral of v, which is tangent, times du, which is secant tangent. So I have secant times tangent, but uh, tangent and tangent is tangent squared dx. Okay, so I do this. All right, so as always, I always say to take this new integral and go deal with it on the side. That's just to save time. So let's go and deal with this one. So I have integral of tangent squared secant dx. Okay, so you have a, this one is also tricky, and this is one that you should know from uh, trigonometric integrals. So you have an even power of tangent, you have an odd power of secant, so one of the techniques that we, we use is to, to write uh, tangent squared in terms of secant using an identity. Okay, what identity am I talking about? Well, we know sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. How do I get tangent squared from that? Well, I divide everything by cosine squared. So if I divide that by cosine squared, divide that by cosine squared, you get the idea. Then what I get is tangent squared plus 1 is equal to secant squared. So this is the identity I'm talking about, so let's use that. Okay, so this integral becomes, that's a very ugly integral, let's try that again. Tangent squared, I replace it with, okay, so what is tangent squared here? Tangent squared is secant squared minus 1, right? Just move the 1 over, so I replace that there, so I have secant squared x minus 1 times secant x dx. So I replace tangent squared with that identity. Okay, so now what can you do? Well, it still doesn't look like we're getting anywhere, but I promise you, we are. Multiply this out so I get secant cubed, and then minus secant dx. Alright, so here you are. What just happened? Well, the integral that we're looking for, remember we're looking for integral of secant cubed, that just showed up. Okay? Whenever that happens, 
what we can do is actually a pretty cool trick, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Okay, so this integral is really just two integrals, it's secant cubed and secant, and the integral of secant is also a tricky integral, but it's one that I recommend that you memorize. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this and plug it in here now. Okay, so let's see, so I have um, secant x tangent x minus this whole thing, but all this is equal to all this. So I'm going to replace that here. So I have minus the integral of secant cubed uh, dx minus the integral of secant dx. So I broke up that integral into two pieces, so this one and this one. And you'll see why I did that in just a moment. Okay, so let's take this over here. So what I'm going to do now is distribute this negative sign. So I have secant tangent, right? So secant tangent, so then I have minus this integral, minus secant cubed. And then minus and minus becomes plus. Okay, so let's pause there. So all I did is distribute the negative sign. So I have secant tangent, then minus secant cubed, minus minus becomes plus that secant x, the integral of secant x. Okay, so once again I told you that we're looking for this integral, uh, dx. Okay, so we're looking for this integral, and it showed up in, uh, in our answer. So what we can do is move it to the other side of the equation. So what do I mean by that? Well, this integral is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to all of that. So really what I have is I have an equal sign here, and on the other side of that equal sign is this integral sitting there. Okay? Really this is what it looks like. The integral of secant cubed x dx is really equal to all of that. So what I can do is I can add this to both sides, and then I can combine like terms on this side. Okay, so let's do that. So adding this integral to both sides, I have... Okay, so it cancels here, but here what do you have? You have integral of secant cubed plus itself, so you have two of them. So you have 2 times the integral of secant cubed x dx is equal to all of the rest of the stuff. So secant tangent plus integral of secant x dx. And we want this, so we just divide by 2 now. So dividing by 2, you get secant cubed x dx is equal to this divided by 2 plus the integral of secant x dx divided by 2. Okay, so you just wrote the integral of secant cubed in terms of all this. And the last step now is to find the integral of secant x dx. If you can do that, you're done. Okay, so this is equal to secant tangent over 2 plus something over 2. Okay, so the integral of secant x. So I'm not going to show how to do that in this video. This video is already getting too long. Uh, so, like I said, this is one that you should just memorize. I don't have it memorized, so I'm going to look it up in the book. So give me one second. Oh, here it is. It's ln secant plus tangent. So it's not too bad to memorize. It's ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x. And then plus c at the end, of course. Okay? So I recommend just memorizing the integral of secant, okay? Uh, this, and you can actually memorize the integral of secant cubed, is this, but you might need to show your work if you're given this on a uh, test. 
Um, you can't just write this is equal to that. You obviously would have to show all the work that we've shown. So this integral has a lot of meat on the bone. There's a lot going on. You do integration by parts. You do a trigonometric integral. You have to use identities. It's a lot going on. So you can see why professors love to include this on their uh, tests. Okay, so this is definitely one to practice, and uh, hopefully you can get good and do it without looking at any notes. I know that's a lot to ask, but just practice and you should be fine. Alright, good luck.